Today I will be talking about a book called The Black Prism by Brent Weeks. Uh, now you might recall Brent Weeks as having been the author of a previous trilogy uh, known as uh, the Night Angel Trilogy, which I, I talked about the first book here and briefly about the whole trilogy on one of my previous videos. Personally, I, I enjoyed the books. They were nothing amazing, but I thought they were enjoyable enough. Uh, and I know they're they're fairly popular books, um, fairly well known to some extent. But generally, the consensus seemed to be fairly mixed in them. People either really liked them, or people thought they were fairly mediocre. You know, there was a uh, kind of a 50-50 thing. You either loved them or you hated them. This book, however, uh, I'm happy to say, is one of the best books, if not the, it was certainly the best book I have read in the last year one of the best books I have read in quite some time. This book by Brent Weeks, uh, The Black Prism, was outstanding. I loved this book. Um, now, this is a fantasy book, uh, similar to the Night Angel uh, trilogy, uh, similar to most books I read, and Brent Weeks establishes his own, uh, essentially, world in this series. He creates his own world, his own uh, idea of fantasy he creates his own magic system. And it's all very interesting. It's very well done. Normally, I'm a bit hesitant to people that create their own fantasy settings, because I'm very traditional in the sense of what I like in fantasy. But he did a wonderful job with it, and I was very pleasantly surprised with what he'd done. Um, it's a bit of a futuristic-esque setting. Uh, medieval futuristic. So there were things like cannons and uh, basic guns, that sort of thing but people still had swords and shields, that kind of thing. Uh, but the main draw of this is the magic system that he created, because that's what the story centers around. Uh, the story follows a young boy named Kip, who, typical kid character, has nothing going for him, and then he finds out he's super powerful and the chosen one kind of story, you know. Nothing too special there. Um, but then he learns he has this power, which isn't that uncommon. I mean, it's not common, but there there's a school for people that have this power, and they go there to learn, and they're called drafters. And what drafters can do is they can take colors and manipulate them with magic. So, uh, and each person has a specific color. So say, for example, if you're a blue drafter, you can take shades of blue and then alter it in some way uh, to create different physical objects or, like, do different things with that color. And each color of drafter has a different personality set normally. So, like, blue drafters, for example, uh, tend to be more logical and precise, uh, cool-headed, whereas uh, red drafters tend to be more temperamental or impulsive or brash, and orange drafters tend to be creative. Uh, green ones tend to be uh, wild and opposed to authority, that sort of thing. So there's this set of characteristics that go with each sort of color you draft. And some people are able to draft more than one in the spectrum. So green, sometimes people who can draft green can also draft some blues because green is close to blue. And there are some people who jump about the spectrum and some who can cast tons of, or, you know, manipulate tons of different colors. But there's only one person who can manipulate every single type of color. And that person uh, is another character in this book, known as uh, Gavin Guile, who is the Prism. And uh, that's what all I want to get into on the, the system of magic. It's, it's very interesting. I really enjoyed it. I was very pleasantly surprised. But uh, you'll learn a lot more if you read the book. They break it down uh, very well and throughout the whole book, and there are still a lot of things they don't explain, which leaves me wanting to know more. I want to know more about this system of magic they have. It's so... it's really interesting. Uh, to my knowledge, I've never heard of anything like this, manipulating colors for magic. I mean, there are some ideas like that, but nothing in the same way that Brent Weeks has done it here. And I really liked that system. I thought it was very creative and interesting, and it, it kept me wanting to continue reading, especially the chapters where they were explaining about, like, how the world and the magic works. I thought those were fascinating. Um, all in all, it's, it's a fairly long book to some people. It's about uh, 600 pages or so. But really, I just couldn't set this book down, and that was no problem for me at all, being 600 pages. And best of all, this is only the first in a series he's planned out, so I'm very excited, because I, I adored this book. I thought it was wonderful, and I could not put it down uh, at all. Um, 
some criticisms of it. You know, to be honest, I don't really think I have that many. I thought overall it was a very well done book. Uh, it's a little atypical in the story, like I said at first, you know, kid, chosen one, that sort of thing. His village is attacked and all his loved ones die, vengeance, that, you know, that kind of story. And even though it's the main idea of the story, uh, I found it continuing to take interesting turns throughout. Most of the things that happen in this book with the plot you will never see coming, and it just goes off in different directions in a good way. It just goes to all these places that you never thought the story would be going. And it's very well done. The plot keeps you interested. I'm interested in what's going to continue happening throughout the whole book, which is why I couldn't put it down. Because they did such a good job, uh, Brent Weeks did, with making an interesting, continuing story plot. And I really have to applaud him for this book, because I thought it was very well done. It kept me interested. And I cannot wait to read the next few in the series at all. The second one's already out. I haven't gotten it yet, unfortunately. I plan to as soon as possible. But I just can't wait. I thought it was wonderful. Um, if I had to give it a rating on a five-star system, I'd probably give it about a five-star, to be honest. I really couldn't find anything I didn't really like about this book. I just really loved this book. I thought it was wonderful. If you have the chance, and you're into fantasy books, I highly recommend you pick up a copy of this, or at least, like, thumb through the first chapter or two. Uh, to be fair, it can start a little slow. I think that tends to be a problem, really, with most writings in general. It can be hard to start a book and keep it interesting right from the beginning. But I think there's enough here to interest most all people. I I've heard very little negative criticism for this book, and I think you would enjoy it if you picked it up. So I, I really hope you give it a try, because I thought it was a great book, and I hope you do too. Thank you.